Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, today we wanted to bring some of Dr. Eric Smith's patients in and talk to them about their experiences with, of course, Dr. Eric Smith and George and Bariatrics and Advanced Surgical Services. Erin, we have here, has not had surgery yet. Kevin has six months out. And of course, we have Destiny as well, who is 10 months out. Yes. So let's talk about the procedures that we are about to have and what we have had done. So all three patients are either going to have or have had sleeve gastrectomy. Okay. Like we mentioned earlier, that's the most common surgery that we do. It's the most common surgery done in the United States for weight loss or metabolic diseases. <laughs> now, because you do three different types of surgeries, why have you chosen to do this particular type for these three patients? Well, every patient's different. You know, as a, as a comprehensive bariatric program, you need to offer options. Okay. You know, offering one surgery isn't the right way to go about it. However, um, right now with the, the data that we know and for lots of medical issues that patients battle, sleeve is by far, in my opinion, um, the best choice from a safety profile, from outcomes, estimated uh, weight loss, yeah. um, and things like that. So these patients have chose, chosen like most patients do. So what are we looking up on the screen That's now? just a little animation of, of what a sleeve looks like. You know, many, many times people hear sleeve gastrectomy and they think that we're putting something in them. Yeah. There's no foreign body. We're basically taking the stomach and turning it into kind of the shape of a banana. I always explain to patients, your stomach right now is like a water balloon. Gotcha. You put a water balloon on a, on a faucet, it'll blow up 10, 15 times its size. And now your sleeve is like a water hose. It's not going to expand. It's not going to distend. All right. um, and it's going to cause a lot more restriction with smaller amounts of food. All right. Well, I want to bring up some before and after shots of Kevin. Kevin, you started off. What was your, your start weight? Uh, start weight, uh, initially when I started the process, it was, I weighed 385. Wow. And now your most recent weigh-in is 240 240 pounds. 240 pounds. If we can bring up these before and after shots. When you see this now, and especially everyone on the couch, yeah. especially Erin, you're yes. about to do it, you see this success. How does it make you feel? It makes me feel amazing. <laughs> I mean, How much further do you want to go? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to lose probably about 35 to 40 more pounds. Really? Okay. How is that process after that? Like he's lost a, 120 pounds you know, already. Right. That's six months, everyone. I need you to think about that. Six months down and 120 pounds. And you want to lose another 30 to 40? Yeah. What's the process for him now? Well, you know, I always explain to patients, you know, you've done awesome, you've done great. Look at these results, but you have to keep in perspective um, your pace is going to change. You know, uh, my example, I say 50% of 100 is 50, but 50% 50 of 50 is 25. 50% of 25 is 12 and a half. So as that excess weight shrinks, oh, see, I didn't think the of that. pounds are going to shrink too, so you don't get discouraged. So over the next three months, he may lose the similar type of percentage as he did the previous three months, but the number's going to be completely different. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times our job is to make them aware of that. You know, if you continue to do the right things and you continue to eat the right way and you continue to exercise, like we said earlier, your tool yeah. will take over. But you have to set realistic expectations. So we'll sit down with patients when they get six months out because they've usually hit a plateau. Yeah. And they might get frustrated and say, okay, well, just wait a second. Let's look where you match up against the national average at six months, at 12 months. And then their eyes kind of open up and they're like, wow, I'm actually ahead. You know, yeah. It makes them feel better about themselves that it's okay, that scale doesn't have to change every day. Isn't he amazing? Yes. yes. He really he is. is. I love amazing. listening to yes. his philosophy about the whole thing. When you see that, Erin, of what Kevin and we just showed you, mm. that's a huge weight loss. Yes. Now, do you have a goal or you don't want to know? Or is that too much of pressure on mm. you beforehand? The number is not so much for me. I have younger children and I want to be able to get on the trampoline and play basketball and not want to take naps and those kinds of things. It's more for me about feeling good. And that's what we want everyone to know at home. It's really important, I believe, that a lot of us when we do our diet and exercises at home and we do this weight loss program, not necessarily surgeries, we put so much pressure on ourselves mm -hmm. to hit a goal mm -hmm. and then we crack at the three months me included, maybe three weeks <laughs> for me, not three months. So you lose the 15 pounds or the 20 pounds and then you go to the drive-through and it just, you start, you know, making yourself doubt it, mm -hmm. you know, and that's by not putting a number on it. You're on the right track. I think it's perfect. We're going to come okay. back after this short break. Everybody